Okay, let's create um, the geometry first. So we'll do that um, by using the geometry engine can be accessed from this cell. And before I launch the geometry engine, I need to say that I'm going to do a 2D analysis. So right click on the geometry cell in the project page and select properties. And under properties, uh, analysis type, set analysis type to 2D. Okay, and so, and then close. That means we need to create a 2D geometry. And then start the geometry engine <clears throat> by double clicking on the geometry cell. And this brings up the geometry engine, which is called Design Modeler. And we will uh, create our uh, drawing in inches. So select inch for the desired length unit and OK. And we'll create a sketch on the XY plane. So highlight XY plane in the tree outline and select look at uh, face plane to look at the plane where you be able to be sketching and then go into the sketching tab and under the draw toolbox select rectangle and hover around the origin here until you see the P which means the point is coincident with, uh, with the cursor is coincident with the point over there, which is the origin. So once you see the P, hold down the left mouse button and draw a rectangle. Let's dimension the rectangle next. So go under the dimensions toolbox and put in a dimension for this edge and this edge. And the length, so if I go to the problem specification, the length is 100 inches and the height, H, is 8 inches. So I will say length is 100 and the height is 8. And then to see the entire sketch, select zoom to fit. And then I can move these dimensions if I want to. Um, so if I go down the dimensions uh, toolbox and select move, I can move this. And this and it's also convenient to display the value rather than the label. So to do that, select display and in the dimensions toolbox and deselect name and that will activate value. And so you can see the value. Okay, so we have the basic geometry. Um, we need to do one additional thing, which is put a point in the geometry where we can apply our point load. And we will also uh, create a corresponding point on the lower edge. And it turns out that will give us a regular mesh. It's not necessary, but it's convenient. So it, it's recommended. So I'll <clears throat> do that. So go under the Modify uh, Toolbox and select Split. And um, when the edge gets highlighted, um, you can split that edge. So split it anywhere convenient. And then let's also put in um, split the lower edge. So I will hover around there until it gets highlighted and then put in the split. And I want to make these equal length because that will give me a nice regular mesh later on. So um, I'll do that 
by adding in a constraint. So I will select the constraints toolbox and in the constraints toolbox I will say equal length and so it says select first line for equal length constraint. So I will select this puppy and then it says second line for equal length constraint. So I'll select this puppy and so Ansys has added in the constraint which you can check if you turn on show constraints which we want to. And if you make a mistake while sketching you can select undo. Okay um, and one more thing to do is to add in a dimension for that length. So if I go back to the problem specification A that distance is 75 inches. So let me go to the dimensions toolbox and put in a dimension for that edge and set that to 75. Okay, so now we have the basic sketch and we have to create an area from the sketch and it is the area that we can um, mesh and apply boundary conditions to. So to go from the sketch to the body or the area, you select concept, surfaces from sketches. Okay, and for base object, select, you know, click anywhere on the sketch and then apply. And so Ansys knows it needs to create the area from the sketch. And to actually create the area, hit generate. It's over here. And you can turn off the sketch if you just want to see the area. Okay, so you can do you can turn off the sketch by going here. And you see now I have one part or one body and that's a surface body so it's you know surface body is uh, nothing but an area and <clears throat> and if you highlight that it highlights it in the um, in the graphics window so that's all there is to geometry creation so let's save the project and I can either minimize design modeler or I can uh, close it. So let me go ahead and close it and then go back to the project page and you can see that you have a tick mark next to geometry which means you're good to go to the next step.